Okay, let's talk a little bit about the ATES and the common ATES recording order in this video. As we know, ATES, in other words, Automatic Terminal Information Service, is a service which is used to give airport information to pilots, right? About uh, uh, the weather and approach type and etc. Okay, with irregular intervals. To be able to uh, to better able to understand ATES recordings, it's very helpful to know that ATES consists of different parts, which is commonly given in the same order. Okay. Before we begin and divide our ATES into the parts, let's listen an example ATES for Colon Airport, which is uh, also shown in digital ATES in the picture on the right. Okay. Cologne bond information November net report time two three five zero expect ILS approach one way and use three two right and zero six and three two left transition level six zero wind three four zero degrees four knots capital K temperature two zero G point one four Q and H one zero two zero hecto pascal trend no sick information november okay as we hear from the audio um the first information was the airport information okay in this uh first section the airport information is shown as we saw in the here okay and like here in this part we hear that uh, the Cologne Airport uh, it is November and the time for us all right these are actually your identifiers what is important uh, well uh, is it the right airport how recent is the report uh, actually it is given an identifier name in this case it is November okay what do you need to remember from this first group most importantly it is November okay you will use that name in your call up to the uh, to let the controllers know you have the current airport information right the second part is as we see from here the approach and runway information and it is identified at ILS approach from a two three right zero six and three two left right the second portion of the recording generally includes the um, advertised instrument approach or approaches in use uh, at the airport the following lists uh, may be an example of how this may be recorded uh, it may be recorded also like simultaneous ILS approaches in progress uh, to run base 25 left and a 24 right for example okay this portion may be located in the last section of the ATES over here okay so we have to keep in mind that this portion also um, be located in the last uh, section of the ATES in voice or this the lattice doesn't matter okay the third portion is the wind portion uh, here you want to listen for its uh, wind direction and the velocity since these facts uh, can impact your decision to land or take off all right third one is the wind for example here t4004 knots okay Facts also help you to predict the runways you are most likely to be cleared for takeoff or land as we talked. The fourth one is the visibility and it can be short or long uh, according to uh, the visibility of the inform uh, airport. Okay, The greater the visibility, the shorter the information, right? For instance, the sky is clear and the visibility 10 km. Do you need to remember that? Not usually, okay, right? When the visibility is reduced, the information becomes more detailed. You might hear 
visibility is 700 meters in rain and ceiling is indefinite and etc okay if you are an instrumented rated instrument rated pilot the section is important to your planning if you are flying by visual flight rules the um, information says you will spend some time on the ground right the next portion is the temperature uh, and the points which is indicated over here okay for this portion actually um, can give you an idea of the trends in the weather for example early morning uh, at the supports with the numbers spread between temperature and div points as we see from this uh, temperatures and div points uh, two to five degrees general right let you know you stand a good chance of reduced visibility okay later in the day you may notice the spread uh, decreasing again and give you the clue there may be low clouds and fog in the evening right the next section is the altimeter setting over here and altimeter setting or QNH for example in this example as QNH is 1020 and the last piece of standard information as we said generally the QNH and you want to remember the setting to check your altimeter or set your altimeter right also um, in addition to this information we should also keep in mind that remarks and notams may be located in the end of the end of the atis okay maybe added to atis so we should continue to concentrate on the atis all right to get the right informations which are asked in the iq level for exam or other uh, situations okay